Next time you come in my room, knock before you enter. Pass for me, get out my blasted room. Okay, I'll pass the mommy. If I pass there, you go hit me with the belt. No, I'm not gonna hit you, boy. What, 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 what? Look at that side of the belt. Me pass in there, mommy. Listen, if I don't get out this room, I will bust two belts in your ass. Not even as a Jamaican, as a Caribbean fitness. Me go ask it this. You ever fall for this trick from your parents yet? Especially your mother in particular, you know, because the daddy them not really do that. And the mother them always say, you must fall feet at one point. But if you ever fall feet the second time, me know say so you, you, you hear that dog, me I tell you. Because your mother go pepper your skin. <laughs> you know what people speaking about pepper do? Oh yeah, cook. Dumpling and chicken and rice and the two of them are boiled into one. So that nice? We don't need if it was nice uh, in the food of food. I'm mean, a proper season, I hope a season. I have a season. I have a season. I have a I season up the dumpling and the chicken and the rice. The two of them are boiled in a one. Now, people, come on, we are all Jamaicans. Yes, we are about run down, we are about all in a one. But chicken, rice, and dumpling cooking a one, that can't taste good. I feel like say, after you eat that, I feel like say, you have to go do like where Alice do. I want Uno to leave Alice alone. Leave Alice. Because everybody shit. And people at the same time, speaking about being Jamaican, it's very sad to say that the intake of Molly, yes, a very popular drug has become an underground part of Jamaica's culture, highly promoted by popular dancer artist Skeng. This is a warning. You see, general, it's so sweet, you see, beautiful, innocent, you see me I say, watch it. This is what she looks like now. You see me I say, full blown crackhead. So I do a video, but the youth say I fuck around with them stuff, they like the Mali. You see, Mali get pop a little to certain artists. You see, the same I walk like him almost lose it now. And then stuff there. Listen, the same psychedelic effect crack up on the brain are the same thing Mali have. You see me I say, so basically if you take Mali, is like a crackhead. You would be careful. You see, the one life and a half, then I have no spare life. Like spare tire. You see me I say? Now, people, that is a very sad and unfortunate situation for all the teens out there, for all the young people out there that faces peer pressure on a daily basis. You have to know for firm in your meds, you have to know how to stand your grounds because it's nice to have fun, it's nice to party. But at the end of the day, we all know say a night. Take it from somebody who knows the streets very well, knows the streets that much that they are not on the streets. You may have a lot of love for these streets, but remember, the streets love nobody. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and my most famous talk, make we keep the video off like this. The picture you alone make you know you can't trust people on your picnic. This is the face of a 10 month old baby killer, and a youth that killed a 10 month old baby over there, Philip Pavel, baby. You see that face there? Don't look nothing like a killer. Can't identify a killer. Stop trust people around, you know, and stop trust people around the pitney. And people, there is a very popular statement never judge a book by its cover. Now, people, in reality, most of us we do judge people on their appearance. Looking at this person, could you tell that this person is responsible for the demise of a baby using a gun? People, talk to me in the comment section. Because looking at this person, him just look like an ordinary Jamaican, look like a law abiding citizen. So, people, you can never tell what really they know, man, heart. Jaja. Now people, speaking about the case, yes we are talking about the infamous case of Philip Paulwell, baby mother saga. Now people, news has emerged and I'm going to say this word, this word is very important. Allegedly, Philip Paulwell was, well people, you know what, take a listen to this. As, as I said to you, I was mad, I said to you what the reason why Paulwell wife left Paulwell? Because then catch him a, a, a grand man. Uh, how much different pictures is out with Paul Will is a bisexual. Are you want to wobble in a Paul Will nice. Look how you're pretty. You can't find one man in the law firm where you're working. Where you want to come down your Paul Will and lower your dung to do your wrong things. And right about now, as I tell you, I call him 
If me have received, everybody not know that. Shelly, you know that. Too. So stop, 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 stop the, stop the, the craziness. Shelly, you know that. Let me see some pictures of the little, little, As I said, Pat, Philip don't have a type. Philip don't have no type. Him not have no type. He doesn't have a type because so little girl, let me see. Well, you that sent to me phone. Let me say, this is why you got book ticket for go take next one extra from Montego because you can't find one flight to go down to to come for Philip. And people, as this story continues to unfold right in front of our eyes, allegation continues to swirl the internet. Now, people, as you can hear, or as you just heard before, this person is stating that Philip Paulwell, him swing both way, him go through the front door and him go through the back door and him don't care which gender. People, I think you understand exactly what I'm talking about. What people have stated before, these are all just allegations going viral on the internet. But do share your thoughts in the comment section. Speaking about Philip Paulwell and this female speaking about his bedroom activities, there is a viral video circulating the internet of allegedly one policeman go catch him woman with a man in a bed ja, ja. and the man they over them i watch them in a bed drop asleep and him say him go slap away two of them but people honestly after watching that video very carefully i think that this video was a fake video i think that somebody voice over the video put it out there and is trying to go viral but people do tell me what you think you think this video real or you think it fake take a look at this Susie. <laughs> I'm going to kill the mamba clan. So I'm going to do this to me to pussy clan. <laughs> I have received the order of distinction officer class and i feel very blessed very grateful now people check this out this been buzzing on the media on monday national era's day popular media personality wayne marshall was presented with the honor of distinction now a lot of jamaicans been saying that they don't think he deserved that award because you know whilst being a very popular person whilst having a nice personality they did mention that and also being an all-time dancehall artist they don't see the significant value that he has made or contribute towards the growth of jamaica now people let me ask you this question do you think that wayne marshall deserved that award let us know in the comment section stein talks brother cartel see me and give me the mic same time I'm a DJ and the place boss. I'm a daddy. I big up cartel and you know, mm. pick up happy birthday, Craig Dennis and Ray, Ray, Ray. So let me give a cartel the mic now. See two man walk over to me and say, hey boy, where are you? So, Ray, Ray, Ray. I'm going say, yo, who them man? Ya? Yo, yo, better, who not deal it? See? So I'm going to go to the and walk over to cartel now and say, yo, brother, you know, you're so violating the brother. You're on Taraji, you know, brother. Mm -hmm. Fix this now. I'm going to say, Maji, fix this guy. It look like something I'm going to say. No? The man them stay so boom when I talk to cartel and stay so I wait. So I turn, you see me? I talk to him, but I turn around and I look back upon them. And I say, yo, teacher. So they are wait. Mm -hmm. So I can see, say, they are wait to see where are they going to do before they make a move. Because they could have make a move, but they are wait to see what he going to do. Even Craig Dennis himself did wait to see what Cartel going to do before they make a move. Mm -hmm. See, so when I talk to the man, the man just turn him back for me. So. And I go so boom and go round to him. Because since he turn him back, I go round to him then. I say, yo, and the man turn him back again. Yes, when he turn him back a second time, me go see Craig Dennis running with the microphone and go so boom and lick me in my, in my, in my head with the microphone. Like him a wait for see what cartel I do. And when cartel turn him back, Craig Dennis goes so boom, lick me in my head with the microphone right there. So, so me go so boom first. Come could have thump him in my face, you know, and blood up him face, you know, but show me the kind of shock and me I say, me and the man are bridging now what is so after me kind of come to my senses me I say hey, boy 
and I run down pan Craig Dennis. To thump him up now. When me I run down pan him, I be a man. Be a ratchet. Mount a cut. Man, I cut off of me. Well, you see, you me skill long time. They never know what's my body. You know? <laughs> they never know me a ninja. You see me? Ka country, my born and grow, brother. When you can't ramp with me, you mad. No, people, that is dance an artist time. If you're a younger dance hall fan, you wouldn't really know this artist. But if you're, you know, from back in the Gully and Gaza war, you might have heard about Stein. Now, Stein is stating that he went to Vibes Cartel's friend's birthday party, Craig Dennis in particular, where Vibes Cartel handed him the mic. He performed Big Up Craig Dennis, tell the man happy birthday, and handed back the mic to Vibes Cartel. Then people, him say a group of men approach him, ask him, umbrella, where you are doing? So, me and see a goal you say, you know, and you're the Gaza turf. Then people Stein turn to Vibes Cartel and say, You know, them money, them are violating, you know, fix this because I hear entourage. Vibes Cartel in return turn him back. The man said, Him go round to Vibes Cartel and tell Vibes Cartel to fix it. Vibes Cartel once again turn him back. Then all hell broke loose. You know, when them fling the buckle upon the garbage and you hear the cat run, yeah man, me a talk about that. One bag of knife, one bag of war. Well, Stein say my Superman say me never get cut. But people, I was not there. But people, as stated before, you might have loved the streets, but the streets, love, finish the rest. Nobody gonna joke, gonna history, gonna drama. I you know I wake up this morning and you know I have to share that one with you guys. You know, I could have dealt with the situation differently, but because I'm just a humble soul, I just deal with it in a humble manner. So, yesterday, then I park. See this girl, I'm not see long this way. Come up to me. I said, Where are you going? I said, She said, Boy, you dash away. I said, No, sir. She said, A long time. You're not coming around for me. I said, I still come on Sunday. So, she had her friend beside her. So, hear me. So, who is your friend? She said, you know, say I'm a schoolmate, you know, I say your friend look nice too. She said, I say, sir, no bother look for me. She said, I look nice because me not like no big sour man. Me not like no ugly man. So I say, I'm not looking, you know, miss. I'm just saying you look nice. Me not want it. Me not like man way unattractive. Me not like no big sour man. I saw the young lady behave, you know. I saw the young lady behaving. You know. So anyway, I'm humble myself. I don't really make that trouble me because I want thing with me. I always stay humble. So last night, about to make my last trip last night, I go back in a Monday for my little brother. My phone ring off, you know. My phone ring off. My old lady from down my side, she had called me. She has said, Mr. Big, sit up on the road. I said, yeah, man. She has said, you know, my granddaughter stranded. In a man, bro, you can please bring her down. I'll pay you to bring her down because she's stranded in man, bro. I said, okay, no problem. So anyway, when we catch man, bro, I call back the old lady. She said, where you at? I said, I'm a man, now. I'm a park up over a house. You know? So you can tell your granddaughter to come. So anyway, I pick up a couple of passengers and I carry down in the late ship. I'm a little brother in the front. You all my people. Guess who I see? Now, miss, young lady, we class me up, both say, she no, like no big sour man. You know, I was just simply complimenting the young lady, you know, I mean, I put argument to her, you know, and she terminated me. She terminated me, and deal with me a type of way, people. When she come across the car, she can't see her word. But anyway, make so boom, I make she sit down and I'm a little brother. In between the two of we, I me not see a word to her. I'm a driver, go down her granny, I let her off, and her granny pay me. I me not see a word to her because at the end of the day, I'm only being me. You get me? I say, I could have been harsh, but I'm only being me. So you see in a life, careful how you deal with people, so you never know what might happen in the next instance. No, people, I never find it amusing why somebody would body shame somebody or let them feel less of their self 
for being themselves. That is karma. Yeah, man, bigs, big up yourself. You are real youth. But people, this is where we will conclude the video. But before I go, <laughs>